Yes, he feels heavy. That's a good one right there. That is a good one. So I am out here at Navarre Beach Park here in the sound of Navarre, Florida. And what I'm going to do is try to get some ghost shrimp. I went to the pier this morning and there were some stud whiting all around the pier. There were some people catching whiting, but then it cut off completely. If you bring ghost shrimp for whiting at the pier, it could turn on pretty quickly. So that is the goal, to get some stud whiting for the Gopri's Tackle Tournament to weigh in, maybe break my PB today. Let's get it started right now. We have some wind out here, not too terribly bad, but it does make it colder. We're walking on Navarre Beach Pier. Technically, this is still surf fishing, but I'm not set rigs on standing on the pier. <laughs> yeah, this is my little micro rod. It's a good one, though. There we go. Come on up, buddy. Come on up, bud. First one coming up. You can see it down there in my micro lod. This is a nice size whiting right there. Very nice. Threw in the shadows and that's where he was at. There you go. I'll take it. Nice fish. Want to hold it? <laughs> Three rods right next to each other. No one's by me, so I'm not encroaching in anybody's territory. I got one I'm actively holding, the runt rod. Already caught the first whiting on that, so we'll see if we can get anything else in these rods. The spot behind me seems to be where everybody's catching fish, but we're gonna try to respect what they've got going on and try it over here. It looks like one. No, that's, that's definitely the whiting. Good size. Job. Yeah, there is too. Wow, oh, yeah. There we go. I don't know what we got on it. It's been out here for a while. Let's see what we got. Try a whiting. I think so. It's going pretty fast. Yeah, it's a whiting. It's a big one too. Yeah. Well, about time I caught one over here. <laughs> there we go. Another whiting. Sweet. Whiting number two. Nice looking fish. That bait's been out there for a while. Definitely pretty, aren't they? There we go. Come on, Mr. Whiting. Oh, he spit me. How does a whiting spit you? Jeez. There we go. Another whiting. Get over here. All right, smaller one though. Here it comes. There it is. He swallowed it down to his booty. Definitely smaller than the other ones. But we got him. Good fish. I'm going to throw him back. Let me share something with y'all just for a second. I'm using a four foot six runt rod with a 500 series reel. We're talking micro ultralight tackle and it is a blast. It's an addiction and I love it. Let's get back to the video. You got it, you're free. I think, no, I'm on top of you. Yep, you got it. Yay! That's a nice little hug. Thanks. <laughs> I told my wife I hugged the YouTube star. You did. I don't know if I'm a star. <laughs> this is a good fish right here. Woo! Get away from that pylon. Don't want to get cut off, do we? 
Can you bring him up with that? Oh, he's got him. Yeah, I got it. I'm just going to do this. Yeah, that's a nice whiting. Yes, it, uh, he feels heavy. That's a good one right there. That is a good one. I love ultralight, man. It's fun. It's a big fish. Jeez. I appreciate it, brother. Ugh. That's the one we want right there, isn't it? Woo! Nice one. Heck yeah, man. That is awesome. Beauty. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it, man. What y'all using for bait? Shrimp. I got some ghost shrimp if you want them. Okay, I appreciate it. Come get some, man. I'm, I'm not gonna be here much longer. I'm not using my thread either. I'm just putting them on there. That's a monster right there. Jeez. Everybody's gonna be on YouTube. I'm gonna let y'all smile. <laughs> That's a big fish. You wanna see it? I take him a gold freeze bait and tackle. Get weighed. A little bit. This is a little bit heavier than an ultralight. This is another big. This is another big one. See him down there? Another big whiting, another stud. It's crazy how they turn on right at dusk, like this. Half an hour. Yep. I got this one. This is an easier one to get up on this rig. Yeah. This is actually my own rod I made. Oh. <laughs> nice. Fly rod tip. What now? Fly rod tip. This is just a, uh, what do we call it? Um, an ultra light. I am eight. I mean, you can throw, you can sling anything. Oh yeah. Get the, there's oh, specs goodness. on there. I love it, man. Heck yeah. Oh. Here we go. Another one. Ghost shrimp again, eh? It is. Yeah, the ghost shrimp are hitting right now. There he is. He's easier to get. He's not as big as the other one. But I'll take it. He's definitely gonna keep. Smaller one. There is Whitey number five. My son, he watched all of that. I saw that. Oh, I appreciate your support. This thing's got a little weight to it, too. This is number, uh... Oh, don't go that way. Don't go that way. Are they, are they tangled? I'll try. Got it off. Yep, good job. Well, I appreciate y'all watching, man. That helps out a lot. Hopefully I don't look like too much of an idiot. <laughs> I've thought about... Here we go, another whiting. You should, you doing a channel? No, we thought about it. We just moved down here from Canada, so when we cool. lived in Canada, I, I, I thought about it. You know, maybe starting like a walleye or a muskie or something yeah. channel, but then we ended up moving down here, and I don't know. <laughs> I'm all right. You're, hey, you you learn it, and you can, but hey, that 20-inch that whiting would have been a good video. Yeah. <laughs> and so, here's the fish right there. He's probably just about 13. Another one. Yeah, you definitely, you can know the difference between this big one and the last big one was so much bigger. This is a good eater size. Nothing special. They all eat good though. Oh, why is so spectacular. One guy, I was, we were fishing yeah. out here and he goes, there's two fish I like, mahi mahi and whiting. He How about goes, that? I lived on the east coast. He goes cod, everything. He goes whiting. Whiting's whiting, it. Whiting, and I'm like, <laughs> whiting's awesome. Yeah, I think this is number seven. Oh, caught him. I think this is number seven right here, guys. They are hard to keep still, but we'll compare these to the bigger ones here in a little bit. Water, that's for sure. Another whiting there. Here we go. Easy enough. And another eater size whiting. We're gonna keep them. Heck yeah. This is a good, good size fish. Oh yeah. Good enough for the girls I go with. That's it. There it comes. My wife just said, bring some little fish fry. That's all. This is the best things for fish fries, aren't there? Another good one. Oh, there you go. That's a good fish. That's a good size one right there. Hell yeah, he's much bigger. This is the most quality white I've ever caught. Yeah. This size, yep. He's about 13 right there. Another fish. Good looking one.
That'd be a good one. This one's fighting me good. People get on to me, tighten your drag. <laughs> but it won't sound as cool if I tighten it. Nope. Here we go. I don't even know how many I've caught now. Eight, maybe. That is a nice one. Oh, so fun. So absolute fun. There you go. It's just so easy right now. Well, here we go. We set out to catch stud whiting. You saw my intro and ghost shrimp tossed off a pier. You better hold on because these big whiting like some ghost shrimp. Check it out. The big one is up front. He's 17 inches. The other ones are about 15, 15, 14, 14, 13, and 12. That's 11 fish. Caught two in about 45 minutes. And then the last 45 minutes I was there, the other nine hit that quick. Listen, it's cold out here in Florida, if you can imagine that. You gotta change things up. It is hard to surf fish at the beach. Target areas like piers. The success today for me was on ghost shrimp. Other people are using tiny little itty pieces of shrimp. That worked. My pound test was a panhandle rig, 14 pound liter, one ounce weight, tossing it out there, let it sit until that buzz, 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 buzz happens and you better hold on thank you so much for watching join me next time right here we excite to strike i'm about to go eat dinner right now <laughs>